Here's a quick introduction for total stationers newbies. Do not play the tutorials, they're broken. Just go here, new world, moon, select, easy, and go. You always start with this lander and uh, you can click on things with the uh, crosshair but you have to hold down the Alt key to get a mouse pointer that allows you to interact with things in the world but more importantly with your inventory. Here for example you have your spacesuit helmet, pressure critical, oxygen critical, your tablet, and in its inventory you can uh, see there's a cartridge slot, so let's put the Atmos Analyzer in there. And it tells us about the atmosphere on the moon. There is none. Here we have our tools. And if you pick any tool and point at a thing that can be um, affected by a tool, then you will see a tool tip. Here we see angle grind that required to deconstruct. We're currently having a, a solar eclipse. You can also deconstruct individual chests, not advisable at the beginning when they're still full. But let's see how we fare. So the Alt key. Another a very important thing to understand is if you want to build something in Stationers, you need a foundation. I just picked out the iron frames, press the rise, right mouse button, and now I'm putting some of them down. Here you can see some ore, there's lead, there's also iron and uh, copper and gold and silver and silicone and other stuff. At the beginning you have to be careful not to overbuild. And one thing you also need to understand, once the frames are down, you also have to weld them. That's something newbies will not know by themselves. If I point at these well, uh, at these frames with my with any tool, it will tell me angle grinder will deconstruct them again, and the welding torch uh, and an iron sheet will allow me to weld them. So let's take the uh, welding torch, turn it on with the right mouse button, and go weld. You hear the sound changing because everything is simulated here. The welder excretes some atmosphere, particularly while welding, and so that's what happens. In the beginning you have to be careful not to waste any resources, so I only welded these shut to be airtight. These here only so they can build easily on them. Okay, now let's put up, up some walls. They should be here somewhere. With L you can turn off your light. You should do that to save battery, and with J, you can turn on your jetpack to fly around. You have two hands, and you can swap between them, pressing the character E. You can see that here where the mouse is, there's some uh, information. There's also the Q button to throw stuff, or T to place something down, specifically. Now let's um, put up some walls. I press the right mouse button again. If I use the keys above the arrow keys, you know, home, page up and so forth, I can rotate this, but I can also use the R key here. Um, I'm not sure if that's the default key, I think the default is C, but anyway, wait, you will see the key here. And then I can put up the walls. You will notice that what I'm having in my hands here is a kit. So if I use the, screw or the mouse wheel, I get some different wall type, and that's um, that's something that is that happens a lot in this game. 
there are lots of kits with different um, build types in them and you have to um, choose the right one. Now some roofing. Now I need the uh, this one. Again, if I use a tool, it will tell me what to do. This deconstructs the window. Let's pick a different tool. This tool is not fitting, but it will tell me what to do, you know? Iron sheets, angle grinder. Construct or deconstruct. So let's close this up. This is now a glass wall. This should now be airtight. And this will be the airlock, an entrance door, and in th this uh, place can be evacuated. So, where are my doors? Hmm. Somewhere in this pile. These are my seeds for plants for hydroponics. There's the microwave for baking potatoes and such. And here are the doors. Again, a kit, so I can choose simpler or more complex doors. I will use the nice glass doors, which I have to actually weld. Now I think I need a crowbar, the tooltip would tell me that. And glass. Now that the door is closed, uh, door is created and it's closed, I can still use the crowbar to get through even though the door is not yet powered. So let's fetch our nice oxygen tank. Here's our oxygen bottle that we're using in our spacesuit. I can just throw it in here. Anti-critical. And now it's filled further. Okay, let's close this door. Now I have a little uh, room in which I can um, basically breathe once I turn this open. And let's watch the atmosphere develop. I need to wire this up, there need to be cables here, right mouse button, mouse wheel, and there's a tooltip here when I try to cross the cables, it will tell me to uh, use the uh, wrench in the other hand, and then I can uh, cross the cables. You basically only need the straight cables and the curved cables. The rest is automatic. Okay, now the air tank is completely exhausted. I can open my helmet. There's a shortcut key, which is I. Or this button here. And now we have a little station in which we can breathe. Alt key, right mouse button for building, kits, mouse wheel, uh, the keys above the arrow keys for rotating, tooltips, you know, that's the thing that you need to know. Everything else you can figure out yourself. See you.